Uh, as, I, as I have put out multiple times, uh, that fund has been turned, I'm not taking the vacation, uh, that fund's been turned into a relief fund, it's in a 501, and for those of you that follow me on Twitter, you can see who the money's going to, I'm passing it out. Um, and so I, I did some of that yesterday, and I'll continue to do that until there's more, no more money left. How much? How much? Yeah. The how much can you tell us just in general how much, and, and not to pretend we don't have Twitter and tell us where you're <laughs> So the question was how much was in the fund after GoFundMe took their part. Uh, there was 19400 and something uh, dollars in there. There's been additional donations made since then. Um, and, you know, like yesterday I just went into a subdivision. It was Concord Bridge. And the first street I turned down, I got out, I walked up to the door, and I knocked, and I gave money away. And those people were unbelievably grateful. And it's not me. It's not me being – it's all of y'all – that have given money, that's who they're grateful to. And so, um, you know, a lot of people ask when they give donations to big organizations, where does the money go? They don't see it physically given. <laughs> Some of it goes into getting supplies, buying supplies, delivering water, you know, brooms, mops. A lot of the cleanup work, what we call the muck out work, is, is getting to be done. <coughs> and so now the struggle for a lot of people who have flooded is how do I get my house back in order? You know, I'm spending my savings, I'm blowing through money, I'm, I'm having to stay at a hotel, and I, I'm still waiting on somebody to come into my house and start putting it back together. And so that's where a lot of people are right now. They're in that, that weird period between getting back into their house and being out of their house. And so that's why the need, you know, there's this big push initially to get in there and help people and get this stuff out, get the carpet, get the sheetrock out. But there is now the financial need to get people through this tough period until they can get back into their house. And just to give you an idea, because I have been through this, it takes about six months. That's what you're looking at. From the time you get everything out to the time you can move back in is about four to six months. And for a disaster the size of Harvey, it's probably going to take longer for some people. And that's just because there's only so much contractors can do here. We know they're working 12, 14-hour days to get people back into their homes. Um, but it's going to take that time. And that's why right now the real need is the financial need to get people to that point.